Exactly. Up until spheres, every shape that we deal with can be built from two-dimensional shapes. So we can show you how to build the formula. Spheres cannot be built from a two-dimensional shape, right? Because they're kind of like a pyramid in that they start from a base shape and they shrink going upwards, but they don't shrink at a steady rate, do they? It's a, no, but it's a curved rate, right? It's not the same amount every time. And they also shrink in two directions. So they can't really be drawn. So all of the formulas for them are found through experimentation. Okay? This is the Archimedes thing where he, he jumped in the tub and the tub went up. Right? And Eureka, that thing. You guys all know that story. Yeah, good. Let's move on. All of these formulas are, were built through experimentation. But we're going to take a moment to discuss them. They're easy to see. You can see how they work. It's no problem. It's got symbols you're aware of, pi and radius and all that stuff. Um, this one, I don't like writing it that way. Four thirds of pi. Four thirds pi r cubed. I like writing four pi r cubed over three. So you do all that with your calculator and then you divide your answer by three. I like doing that better. I find it less cumbersome, okay? Now, before I go on with this, I need to make sure you guys are aware of a couple of words that we're going to be using right now. A sphere, which is a fun word to say, bad movie. If you ever have a chance to see the movie sphere, do not watch it even though it has an amazing cast and you think it's going to be awesome, it's actually a piece of garbage. Ask your parents about it. They'll remember it. It's so bad. So, so bad. So bad. I know. I'm sure, I, I highly doubt Sharon Stone, Dustin Hoffman, and Samuel L. Jackson are watching my math video <laughs> to hear about my feelings. Oh, and Michael Crichton, whose book it was based on, to know about my feelings about their film Sphere. I don't remember who directed it. It was a piece of garbage, so maybe you are watching it. But you all got paid anyway, so you don't care. Anyways, the thing about spheres is they are a whole circular ball thing yeah but we also work with hemispheres and for some strange reason that causes people a lot of grief so spheres are covered right here we'd better talk about hemispheres now what is a hemisphere right it's half a sp sphere which means if the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, how would you find the surface area of a hemisphere? You would divide by 2, which would give you 2 pi r squared. Agreed? Does everyone agree? Okay. So here's the sphere right here. Ta-da! Now, I'm going to use the magic of technology to turn that sphere into a hemisphere. Now, if this sphere was solid, then what did I just make? No, I'll say it slower. If this sphere was solid, then what did I just make by cutting it in half? A circle. Is that circle solid? Yes. Is that circle a surface? Yes. So is 2 pi r squared really the surface area? No. Because the surface area of a sphere is all this out here, isn't it? And yeah, I cut that in half, but as soon as I cut it in half, I just made a new circle, didn't I? So what do I got to do here? I got to add a pi r squared. And if I have two pi r squareds and one more pi r squared, what do I have? Three pi r squareds 
for a solid hemisphere. Now, solid hemisphere. What if it were hollow? Technically, what would the surface area be? Okay. So if it was hollow, then 4 pi r squared gets me this outer surface area, yes? Well, if it's hollow, what did I make when I cut into it? I made another surface, didn't I? Which is the whole inside, yes? Which is almost exactly the same as that, yes? So the area of a hollow hemisphere is technically almost exactly the same as the area of a whole sphere. Right? Anybody with me? Okay. Logic stuff, not math stuff. Okay, now, if I want the volume of a hemisphere, 4 pi r cubed over 3. How would you get half of that? You want to divide by 2? Great, divided by 2. Fraction divided by 2. Barf. Right? But, don't write this down. What is this? 1 quarter divided by 3 fifths. What do you do? When I write it like that, all of a sudden nobody can do it. When I write it like this, when I write it like this, everybody can do it. What do you do? Reciprocate, Reciprocate which one? the three-fifths. And once you reciprocate it, what do you do? Multiply. So you all know how to do that. Why is that any different than that? Because it looks like a fraction. Of it's a scary. It's called a complex fraction and it bothers you, doesn't it? But it's the same as this, isn't it? You, you reciprocate the three-fifths and you multiply. So what would you do here? You would reciprocate the three-fifths and multiply, right? So now apply that to this. What are you going to do? Wow. There you go. <clears throat> this is 2 over 1, isn't it? So you reciprocate the denominator and you make it multiply. 4 pi r cubed over 3 times 1 half. 1 times 4 pi r cubed, 4 pi r cubed. 3 times 2, so 4 pi r cubed over 6. Everybody cool? If it's solid. If it's hollow, then do I have volume or capacity? capacity? Capacity. Because the volume is technically just the skin of the sphere, right? Everybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah? Okay. Sweet. Let's move on to the first question, which is a stupid question. It is a math class question. Why did I put it in? <coughs> because I like stupid math class questions. Because I am allowed to make fun of them. Why is this an idiotic question? Who would ever wrap a basketball as a ball? You would put it in a box. Because it's not much of a surprise. Right? Right? Oh, happy birthday, Michael Jordan. Here's this round package. Hmm, what could it be? I do not know. So, it's a dumb question, but we're going to use it because it allows us to practice algebra. Up until now, we've been using the formulas to discover what? The surface area or the volume. Yes? We've always had that goal at the end. But in this question, what's different? I know the area. I gotta find the radius, right? So, exactly. Surface area, what shape is a basketball? 
Sphere. You didn't just say square, did you? I said round. Oh, okay. Could have sworn I heard someone say square. And that would make a very difficult game of basketball. It would actually make basketball more interesting to me if you played it with a square ball. It would be like trying to play basketball with a rugby ball, which is similar to Australian rules football because, of course, you must bounce the ball in Australian rules football, and that's an oval ball. But Australian rules football is, of course, the stupidest game in the world because it's played on a round field. Why? I know, it's idiotic. Austra Aussie ball makes no sense to me whatsoever. But if you actually, everyone's like, oh my God, it's just crazy. People just go nuts. No, there's a ton of rules. You just don't know what any of them are. <laughs> and if you watch it, you can't understand it because the announcers assume everybody watching it understands the game. So they just talk like it's normal. As a cracking run down the right piff pulse piece with a butta booty batter. And everyone's cheering and you're like, the guy's just standing there. <laughs> and you're not allowed to pass. You got to bump it like in volleyball but it's an oval ball. I know, it's so stupid. Although, what's cool about it, you guys know the singer Vance Joy? You should know the singer Vance Joy. He's awesome. He sings that song Riptide like a girl. It's a very falsetto. You know the song Riptide? Damaris does. Riptide. Taking away the ripped. Nothing. I'm a bad singer, so I don't like to sing it. Anyway, that dude used to be a professional Aussie ball player. And then he decided that he was going to instead sing falsetto with a ukulele. He's doing much better as a singer. But apparently he was quite a good Aussie ball player as well. Anyway, he also sings, I can't remember the other song he sings. Uh, uh, write it on a piece of paper, put it in my jacket. Um, you put it all on me now. That's his other song. It's a good song, you should listen to it. Anyway, 4 pi r squared. What do you know? Do you know the surface area or the R? You know the surface area. 2,500 equals 4 pi R squared. Yeah? Start solving it. Go. You'll need your calculator by the end. Why? Nobody should have any trouble doing this with the numbers. A couple more seconds of you guys attempting and then I will go to work on it myself. Okay. In algebra, what is your job? No, that's how you do your job. What is your job in algebra? That's like saying I'm a grave digger. What's your job? I dig holes. No. What's your job in algebra? Not to find the missing variable. And how do I find the missing variable, Marley? Pardon me? There is a lot of different calculations, yes. But the goal is to get that variable by itself. Yes, once that variable is by itself, we're in business. What well, the proper word we like to use is isolate. isolate the variable. Yes? So let us isolate that variable, cabbages. To isolate the variable means what now? What do we do? What do we do now? Um, divide by four. I, if I divide by four, I'm going to get close to isolating the variable, yes? I'm going to cancel those fours, and I'm going to be left with uh, uh, 12, 625, yes? I'm going to have 625 equals pi r squared. Now what? Now we have to uh, No. 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 Damaris. You must divide by pi. 
because your job is to get r squared alone. Now, 625 doesn't divide by pi very well, does it? No. Right? So you're going to do that with your calculator, and you're going to end up with something along the lines of 198.9. And then what are you going to do? You're going to, no, you're not going to divide. You're going to do the opposite operation to what you see. You see squaring, so you're going to do square root. And you're going to get the R to be something a little bit more than 14, probably 14.2. 14.10, damn. All of you should already be able to do that, yes? There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that. Some of you may have forgotten and done something like minus pi right because you forgot that this is multiplying here right if i wrote 3 r squared you would all know to divide by 3 but because it's pi everyone's like ah, i don't know what to do it's pi ah, maybe i should just eat it no 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 get it thank you Nina, you are cruising for a hardcore a in this class now that is easily done yes even though there's pies and squares and stuff in it it's technically the algebra you were taught actually in kindergarten isn't it what we didn't do algebra in kindergarten yes you did damaris has three apples i have a box of nine apples how many apples will i have if damaris puts her apples in my box of apples that's algebra. That? But for some strange reason, we don't call it algebra until you're in like the eighth grade and we put letters with it. And then everyone's scared of it, even though you've been doing algebra since kindergarten. Right? Technically. Except in kindergarten, we did it like this. Blank plus five equals eight. And everyone's like, in three, Mrs. Bad Crumble. <laughs> and she was like, oh, yes, well done. Here's your gold star. You know how to do math. But she never called it algebra. And then in grade seven, all of a sudden, because in grade seven is when most of you get your first mean male teacher. And he's like, do algebra. And you're like, I can't do algebra. I'm scared of it. Because your parents were scared of algebra, right? Be honest. That's what happened to everybody. Mostly. Even though you've been doing algebra since kindergarten. Anyway, we're all good with this as algebra, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, now, the problem in the 10th grade and further on than this, is if I ask you to do this with no numbers, not so much this class, because this is pre-diploma, but most other classes I teach, they can do this side, no problem. But if I say over here, tell me what R is. Oh, I can't do that, Mr. Myers. There's no numbers. Does everyone see the problem here? It's the exact same thing, isn't it? If I want to know what R is, you would just isolate R, yes? So you would do all the same stuff, but there would be no numbers. It's actually easier, isn't it? Because you're not actually doing anything. Sure, divide by 4 pi, divide by 4 pi. Cancel, cancel. Surface area divided by 4 pi equals R squared. Square root, square root. R equals the square root of the surface area divided by 4 pi. Now, you do that in, on paper. How many times you got to go to your calculator? None to get to here and then once at the end, right? How many times you go to your calculator here? Every single step. Every time you go to your calculator, there's a chance of typing the word, the wrong word, right? like in a text. So why would you go to your calculator when you don't need to? Understand what I'm saying? Stop reaching for your calculator every chance you get. It's not the right thing to do, okay? And when I say what I mean by every chance I get, I see you guys reaching for your calculator when I say 12 times eight. I don't mind so much if it's your 12 times table. I kind of let it go. But every so often, I'll see people reach for their calculator for 35 plus 72. 
There you go. Bonus points. Hey, you're almost scoring as high as Lena. All right, everybody cool? All right, turn the page over. See if you can figure out that word problem. This is the end of the lesson too, by the way. You'll be working after this. I know, right? It totally is. And it's a long weekend. Do you think I'm going to give you extra homework because it's a long weekend? No. Of course not. But you're going to spend family day with your families, aren't you? Lies. Well, it's kind of slightly impossible. Yes, it is impossible for some of you. You could call it host family day. There's also no such thing as family day in Germany. Really There's no such day. thing as family day here either. One day, the government decided, hey, we need another holiday. Let's have one. That's what happened. Just like Mother's Day was invented by, hey, we need another day to sell greeting cards for. Let's call it Mother's Day. Holy crap, everybody bought Mother's Day cards. Maybe we should have another day when people will buy cards. Let's have Father's Day. Yes. Uh, grandparents' Day. Yes. Administrative Assistance Day. Yes. All invented by the greeting card industry. Valentine's Day. Yes. The real St. Valentine was murdered. That's why he was a saint. He was killed. Yeah. That has a lot to do with hearts and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Happy Valentine's Day, Mommy, honey. His heart stopped beating. Mm -hmm. How many of you are attempting this without drawing a picture? I am not drawing a picture, but I'm getting myself cold. Okay. But isn't this a classy question? Is it? Yeah, kind of. I mean, can we really calculate the volume of air? Air takes up space. If this room wasn't filled with air, we'd already be dead. Haven't you seen a horror or a space thriller where they chuck a guy out the airlock? Unless you're a Princess Leia. Spoiler alert, sorry. If you haven't seen The Last Jedi. But if you haven't seen The Last Jedi by now, you're lame. And you're probably not going to see it anyway. You should see it. It was good. It was No Force Awakens. But Kylo Ren was better in it. My buddy made a movie with Kylo Ren in it. My buddy made a movie. The main character was Daniel Radcliffe and Kylo Ren was his best friend. So in my buddy's movie, in one scene, Harry Potter is eating breakfast with Kylo Ren. Like, I'm about to eat it's called The F Word. My buddy wrote that movie. My best friend from high school. Yeah. He recently fixed Jackie Chan's last movie, too. You won't have seen it because it's not being released in North America. But Jackie Chan's last movie, my buddy fixed the script. Got to spend the whole day with Jackie Chan. Apparently Jackie Chan is a madman. If you don't know who Jackie Chan is, I feel sorry for you. Do you? Yeah, I'm going to finish it real You go, guy. I'm going to draw it because I always like to draw.
stop doing surface area? Yeah. Good. Now, am I allowed to stop there? In math, yes. Because that's the answer, isn't it? Right? Technically, I can't give an exact answer. Why? Because of pi. Now, ideally, if I leave it like that, that's fine, but you would probably want to finish this off in a real life question and actually do that math. And it's something going to be something like 40. 38 point. Cubed of empty space. Everybody cool? Now, I want to, the reason I asked you to do it yourself was because I'm betting. Would anybody like to talk about their process? What did they do? I just I messed up the formula twice. I'm still doing it. Okay. Somebody who didn't mess up the formula twice. What did they do? What What was your thought process? Jayla. All right. So um, I found the volume of the ball. So you found the volume of one ball. Yeah, and then I times it by three. Then you multiply by three. And then I got the volume of the box. Then you did the box. Absolutely right. How many times did you go to your calculator? Uh, I don't know. Me, like Probably a crap ton, yeah? Now, notice what I did, I wrote it all out. And what did that allow me to do? Once I wrote it out, what happened right there? No. Those threes could cancel out, yeah? So before I even went to my calculator, I got my formula as easy as I could. Why? Because it's easier to go to your calculator and make fewer steps, right? Right? Because to do this on my calculator, I gotta remember brackets, I gotta remember a whole bunch of crap, don't I? But I know that three over three is gonna cancel. Picking up what I'm putting down? Read my mail, mow my lawn? All right, your job today is page 34, 35, 36, and 37. But I'm giving you half an hour right now plus your three-day weekend. 34 to 7. 